everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. You're probably asking yourself, why are you smiling already? Well, first off, I got a great job, right? I'm hanging out with cool cars, hanging out with you, watching the, some cool videos, doing stuff like that. But we are talking about a super cool car that if you ever owned like a first car and it was a Volkswagen, these kinds of things remind you of it. That was my first car. I saved all my money, cutting grass, shoveling snow, all that good stuff. My parents made me buy a Volkswagen. I wanted a muscle car. They buy me maybe buy a Volkswagen. I think that scarred me and that's how all of this happened. Anyway, if you owned one, you know why it makes you smile. There's a lot of great times, a lot of great parties went on in these things. They were uh, indestructible, bulletproof, amazing cars. And here, this has been brought back to life and made to be like new. We're gonna spend some time walking around it. This one has some awesome features, a lot of detail stuff too that you may not uh, notice. And, and so I say this many times in the videos, people always say, hey, Tony, that's a great looking car wow but we don't really know why it's a great looking car so let's talk about some of that as well and look at some detail styling uh, restoration stuff and paint quality and just keep having a good time and getting a smile Perfect. all right so these buses over time dare I say it I know I'm gonna get beat up became less attractive they just did very much like myself okay this right here is the best styling of these things ever when you see this two-tone the way this tiny emblem can you imagine wearing that around your neck doesn't matter it fits so beautifully in here the two-tone bumpers right we're talking about why do people say that's a great looking vehicle but they don't know why okay stainless bolts all new stainless trim glass covered headlights right the headlights are inside glass covered and they have light up inside here as well okay all of this is detailed with new suspension we have the wiper here we have another wiper as well i took that off so this uh you could see these pop out this one also lifts up right this is cool stuff man not all these buses have this and they definitely aren't restored at this level let's look at a couple other things there's something called a semaphore turn signal Wow, most people don't know what that is. I didn't know what that was either. So just being honest, you can't know everything about every car ever built. And it was so cool to me, I had to have it. I think you're gonna have to have one of these as well. And here's what that means. When you go to turn the turn signals, right? And you go ahead and you turn the lever. Oh my, come on, man, come on. How cool is that? It functions just like it's supposed to. This is a 1959 bus, 59. This is 2024, we're doing this video. Come on, man. this is amazing stuff. Works like it's supposed to. This right here has different slots that you can adjust it there. This window here pops out. This window here pops out, all new glass. Important stuff, important stuff, important stuff. How do you make a beautiful paint job and how do you make a beautiful vehicle come together well? Well, with a lot of time and I'll explain to you what I mean by that. Look how long these panels are. If we were in any other vehicle, it would have a door here and another door here. So you'd have lots of breaks, but this is a long panel. And if you don't spend a lot of time working the metal properly, doing a great job, no amount of Bondo filler and thing like that is gonna fix that. This is a nice all metal truck right and look how beautifully straight all of this is this right here called louvers right punch the way they're supposed to be letting the air out because the engines back here that's why these have such great traction and they're such great all-weather vehicles because the engine is over top of the driving wheel so all of the weight is over there lastly we have uh, the two-tone paint actually we have more than lastly this is maybe second or third lastly all right uh, the two-tone paint really gives it a different look right you can kind of see how uh, it gives it a larger look. This right here, uh, all brand new roof rack. Right here we have the ladder, uh, just arrived. I didn't get a chance to put it on here yet. It'll look super cool when it's back on there. You'll see it in the photo that it's on there. Uh, that comes right off. You can throw it in the back of the vehicle. This comes off too if you don't want to have that. You can also add one more up front, which looks really cool. I don't know if you can have too many roof racks. It just looks great. Throw a couple surfboards on there or some luggage. How cool would that be going to a car show, right? You can dress it up kind of like a going out date. And lastly, I like to talk about the quality of the paint and I think that if you come on up here and you see the uh, letters in the paint they're nice and crisp and that's what you want that's why this vehicle looks so shiny in here the crisper the letters the shinier the vehicle is 
All right, listen, you can definitely buy one of these for less. Definitely buy one for less. But you can most surely spend more than this one on restoring one. And I'll show you what I mean by that. First off, all of this glass in here is thousands and thousands of dollars of new glass. All new weather stripping, new hinges, new moldings, right? New handles, new chromes, new lenses. This is on and on and on. It would take you years to build something like this. All of this in here, what I love too is, look, check this out. Functioning just like it should, depending on how tall you are. This also goes up another another notch, right? For loading, hanging out with friends, doing whatever. All just carpeted, all detailed inside here. Everything in here, new, replated, refurbished, or whatever. Next, the engine compartment. You say, well, that's very nice, but I'm not gonna spend a lot of time in there. Agreed, you're not gonna spend a lot of time in there. However, when you import these things here, you wanna make sure that you're getting something like this. Beautifully restored, with a little bit larger engine. Original ones came with a 1200 cc engine, which is not bad when you're driving by yourself, but you throw in two more couples or a bunch of kids and what have you, you could find yourself struggling a little bit. That changes all that. But inside here, if you wanted to go to a car show, look how beautifully detailed all of that is, isn't it? all painted. Stainless bolts you can see. I point this stuff out because while stainless bolts won't bankrupt us, they are the step up from regular bolts. That means somebody cared enough to do the detail stuff, all right? Uh, secondly in here, uh, one of the problems that a lot of people have with importing them is they can't find the VIN numbers and the tags. We are very specific about that. You're gonna get a US title with this, right? These are imported here, US title. The uh, whole plate is stamped right there on inside the engine compartment. We'll have a nice picture of it so you can see it. And as you look through here, you can see everything uh, from the voltage regulator to the intake manifold to belts, carburetor, all that good stuff, all painted, detailed, and show ready to go. Hey, how you doing? All right, all right, all right, all right. So you're walking up and you go, man, that is so good looking. And you find out, oh man, not you find out, you remember, that's his mind. And you go and you say, oh, I am now going for a drive. Okay, so we're thinking about taking another couple out to dinner in this or two couples out to dinner in this or all the kids out to dinner in this, going to take them to soccer practice, something cool on a Saturday or Sunday, drive to work or whatever, get inside here with me and see what we're getting, okay? Because this is super, super fun. All right, so we get that... Uh, we're in, man, we're in. Come on, check this out. All right, so all of this restored, all new chrome, stainless. If you decide to take up smoking, right? Even the ashtray is new. Only thing uh, not new in here is a stereo because there's not one in it. You can always ask us so we can put a nice digital unit right here. We can hide it someplace. You can stream your music and things like that. But everything else from the rear view mirror, what I don't know is for a lot of you who have never been in one of these, if you've ever seen some of the cool stuff. So let me just run down some of that real quick. We talked about the semaphore turn signals. Boom, they work over here and over there. Uh, this heating system here for fresh air works just like the diverters inside are bringing fresh air in, okay? New visors, all new gaskets, new chrome brackets here that are holding the gaskets and everything in place, chrome latches. Even the mirror is kind of cool because not it doesn't come down and centered. It comes and it's cantilevered off to the side there. All new uh, seating, all new carpets with the, with the gray stitching around and binding around them, right? Um, shift linkage, parking brake, parking brake shoes, cables, seat belts for everybody in here, um, speedometer, fuel. I mean, it's just, it's just, I mean, when you drive this thing, man, it's just cool. And like, look how many windows you can open. There are window after window after window and they all work just like they, just like they should. This is just fabulous in here. All right. I'm also going to go ahead and jump in the back too, because while I'm 6'1", I want you to be able to see that there is a lot of room in every row back here uh, for you to do whatever you want. Maybe even go camping. Uh, who knows? This may become the party bus. Man,
many show cars are just that they're just show cars they go in a trailer they come back out they go in a trailer they come back out this could easily be that vehicle is too but it's also a functional show car and i'll show you what i mean by that right here we have uh all new interior all new uh door panels door cards the latches have been redone obviously the the seating is really great here we have seating we have a table for our drinks we can hang out kind of just chit chat with some friends right uh out of the elements maybe at a tailgate right pop some more friends right into the back seat here uh we're holding three six nine passengers in here right uh seat belts for everybody and it even smells new in here i can mean because it is new but it even smells new 1959 we're talking 1959 uh it amazes me that we're 66 years later uh 65 years later and we have this brand new uh super cool micro bus all right so let's close up the video on this smile maker right with we looked at so many fun things today pacific blue paint what a great color man it just makes you smile looking at it pearl white two-tone up here that great looking roof rack uh we have two sets of wheels and tires for you to choose from whether you like the original style show quality here that you can take to shows and what have you or you like the upgraded wider porsche style looking wheel um we looked at this uh this fabulous whoosh, whoosh, semaphore turn signals i love this i could do them all day long all the cool glass that pops out all the openings all the new pieces the new carpet the great interior the underneath of the vehicle you've seen the pictures of that it is as beautiful at the top uh it is really uh amazing vehicle that's not only beautifully restored but you could be you could be driving it next weekend which is unheard of especially uh in this price range so anyway call us 301-816-1000 we'll tell you all about this vw microbus uh if you don't mind hit the like button down below there it helps get our message out and i really appreciate that subscribe to the channel we have new stuff coming out all the time and maybe share it with your friends they might like some of the videos that we do as well and i will see you on the next one